Uh, Mama V is here. Good morning to you, Mama V. I, li I like your wine. How do you get to select colors these days? You look more corporate than uh, the yeah. usual way. You is, it, is it good? Or if you uh, think it's, it's, it, it, you look it's fantastic. not too good, I can always... We look like we're, we're, we're on a German... Do something that you like. Uh, we, look, we look like we're now on a German television, and that's great. Oh, because it means that uh, we get to have a lot more of the eyeballs. Wherever oh, you're watching us from, whether Pusiga or you're watching us from Lambusi or in Kintampo, uh. we say good morning to you. Well, good morning to all of you. Mm -hmm. If you missed the beginning of the show, well, you missed great inspiration <laughs> and you missed the news as well. But thankfully, we, we have the opportunity to do the newspapers, which means you get to catch up with the latest news stories. So that's what we're doing right now is the, the newspapers. And we're starting off with the Daily Graphic newspaper of today. Uh, front page of the Daily Graphic, 57 OMCs sanctioned for cheating customers, uh, but they don't quite give the names of these uh, oil marketing companies that have been cheating us. But details of that story is in the paper. So judgment in Ghana. Cote d'Ivoire Maritime Dispute, remember the story? Well, the judgment is on September 23. Fans for free SHS ready Tomorrow, Friday, according to Dr. Yao Osei Edichum, who's Deputy Education Minister. And Finance Minister did no wrong in approving loan for McDan shipping. That uh, still very much a continuing conversation. That story is on page 20 in the graphic. But I want us to begin with details on page 3 with regards to the story of uh, some 57 oil marketing companies who have been sanctioned by the Ghana Standards Authority for engaging in various infractions detrimental to the interest of consumers. Now, all the affected OMCs are in the greater Accra region, but you find their names here. They were fined a total of 261,000 for seven customers with lower volume of fuel using non-approved GCA seals and breaking GCA seals meant to stop cheating at the pumps. And the acting uh, director general of the GCA, which is the Ghana Standards Authority, Professor Alex Dodu, told the Daily Graphic in an interview in Accra yesterday that the companies were sanctioned within a 12-month period. Now, I was trying so hard uh, to look at exact names because if, if they give us names of outlets that have cheated us, then we will know we, we don't have to go there. So I'm still struggling. You can also grab the paper and read some more in the graphic on the story. Uh, free funds for free SHS ready tomorrow. We go to page 16 in the graphic to see the details of that because we know school would fully reopen next week. I Would they be ready in terms I of I wish that my children were going to first year. And this is about the third time you're <laughs> saying <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, it is, yeah. And so because you never know, perhaps, maybe, yeah. uh, you never know. So yeah. in three years, no, maybe you intend to know why you're free. Why are you free, free? free. But the uh, government has promised. That's this five is years the down the link. The coming. deputy minister is saying that government uh, has promised to release funds for the smooth rollout uh, of the free senior high school policy by the close of this week, addressing the 55th national conference of the conference of heads of assisted secondary schools in ho a deputy minister of education dr yao osei edichum told the school heads quotes your money will soon hit your accounts and indicated that money for the upkeep of the schools would by the close of the conference on friday mm -hmm. be in the various accounts of the schools mm -hmm. so by now what, it, what so that'll be tomorrow tomorrow is friday but what and i know ghana public service they close at 12. On Fridays. M my point is, especially no school, are fashionable. Is school school reopens on Tuesday. Am I correct? I did. Mm -hmm. yes. If you're getting the money by Friday, the money will hit your account. Mm. Is it hitting the account as in it's reflected? It's going to take some days to clear or what? I don't know yeah, about usually. how um, government yeah. funds uh, reflect. But the point no. is, even for us parents, no. before your child goes, it's to like you school, get so they pay through. I think they pay So you see the money. Mm. So no, they are saying I, I'm not I think they'll receive maybe midweek or end of the week. So thing. by now they should have gone to borrow, is that it? Yes, because you because you, 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 you have creditors, so you have suppliers, mm. so you just So when the money you comes in you just pay them off. Because in the past the the transactions have always been on credit. So I don't think that um, the critics out there really should be mm. alarmed when already 
uh, the assurances have been given that the allocations will go through to the schools. Okay. Um, well, the I thing I is that would it go timely? And once the assurances are that it will go by next week, I think it's better than. Mm. And we should remember it's twenty percent of what they need for the term. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, I also do know, and I'm sure it will be buried in the story somewhere. Uh, but the this conference that's ongoing in whole with the heads of the secondary schools. One of the things they're asking for actually is, is one of the things that uh, Reverend Dr. Kwabino Opunin Frimpon, when he joined us on the show not too long ago, also asked, asked okay. for uh, a proper blueprint, if you like. Kind of an a, outline. A, or outline. So that the or heads don't go... A rollout plan. Don't go out of it. You know, say that this is what you're expected to do, this is what you can do, this is what you cannot do. So mm. that when you're making the mistake, you know that you're making a mistake. Mm. So you don't go and charge for something or take something from mm. a parent and then later on somebody will take you on mm. and you become a whole, you know, that mm. kind of thing. They're mm. also asking for something like that. Yeah. So, but it's expected. This is a new policy, so we don't expect everything to be exact, exact, exact. We have to learn from some of the mistakes that will come up. So we will see. Uh, this last story on page 60 has to do with the verdict. The International Tribunal for the Law of the sea will on September 23, 2017, deliver its judgment on the maritime boundary dispute between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. Two countries have laid claim to the disputed boundary in the Atlantic Ocean and are both calling on the special chamber to hold in their favor. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, quickly on the back page of the Daily Graphic, use certified wiring professionals only, according to the Energy Commission. Uh, effective October this year, uh, property owners who fail to use the services of certified electrical wiring professionals will not be connected to the national electricity grid. Uh, the Executive Secretary of the Energy Commission, Dr. Alfred Ofusu Ahenkra, has stated so if you're thinking of finishing your house and connecting it, you might want to read the full details of the story so you know who to call mm -hmm. to do the wiring uh, for you. Yeah? It's very important or critical. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's do the Ghanaian Times. And before the Ghanaian Times, though, it is your birthday today. Empress Roses Ajo Kokui Aklobotu. Oh, wow. You are the daughter of Moses Aklobotu of the Daily Graphic who is managing or the lead correspondent for the Daily Graphic in the Western region. Good morning to you, Moses, as well. Uh, you and I were chatting yesterday about our Wh wh what's, what's his daughter's name again? Empress. Don't, don't be surprised. Yeah, Empress. Empress. Uh -huh. Roses. Uh -huh. Ajo. Uh -huh. Kokui. Uh -huh. Aklobotu. I like Ajo You, you are eight today. You have yeah. seven more years to enjoy free SHS. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, happy birthday to you, Kokui. Enjoy your Kukri, birthday. Kokui, good morning to yeah. you. You have several more years. Daddy should yeah. be able to get you anything that you want. So ask right. him for anything. Your dad promised me... Um, Roland, it's not your birthday. The last time I checked. Let's do the papers. All right, so we do the, uh, the Ghanaian Times. On the front page, free SHS fans ready. <laughs> Government to... <laughs> eh. Government to send money to schools by September 11, which is when? Yeah. September 11 is next week. Oh. Sure. That's on Tuesday, I think. Sure. Is it? Yes, because today is the is the sixth or seventh. Today is the seventh. So what's the difference? So does it mean that the, you uh, know the daily graph is set tomorrow? So oh it no, means I think that's Monday. So or it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it's that's Tuesday. cool. So okay, that's so cool. he's in tomorrow and clearing by Tuesday. Yeah. Is that it? We say again congratulations to the government of President Nanado Dankwe Kufado for the for implementation of the free SHS. I thought I said yesterday that <laughs> let's <laughs> let's get the policy rolling yeah, it'll, and it'll let's go. see how it goes it'll before go. you bring this whole go. congratulations, congratulations to you the oh. government uh, of president anad danko kufado for what, the you're a political SHS. party now um no i don't have to be in five years time do my, the papers my son will be enjoying that's free not SHS. in the paper do the papers <laughs> in the meantime the government to send the money is by september 11. <laughs> good again <laughs> really pay a suspended <laughs> august salaries is on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. So when you get to the front page of the Ghanaian Times, you get to find it. Um, and this one is coming from NAGRATS, the Association of Graduate Teachers. They are demanding this from government. And so um, we have that. Uh, it's on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. Free SHS fans ready. 
and um, we also have government to launch 2.5 billion bond, Ghana City bond, to raise funds to retire energy debts. I think I've heard this phrase before, to retire energy debts. <laughs> yeah. It looks like, the you know, governments are all the same in Ghana. Since Fourth Republic, the distance they have been is the same. Mm. But um, there are differences, like free SHS and the rest. A police constable businessman arrested for robbery. And on the back page of the paper, Operation Vanguard naps 294 Galamseyes, mm. and in the process, confiscating equipment, vehicles, and machinery. Good, 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 good. We don't want a degradation of the environment. It's something that we have to stop. And meanwhile, government will employ youth to reclaim Garamsey lands. And we have a picture there, down there, of the Minister for Defense, Dominic Mitterwo. Mm -hmm. Dominic Mitterwo, Dominic Mitterwo, Dominic Mitterwo. So those are the stories we have today on the back page of the Ghanaian Times. Okay, all right. Uh, so from the Ghanaian Times, we move to the Daily Dispatch mm -hmm. newspaper, uh, front page of the Daily Dispatch. 10 million Ghana cities ADB loan to Magdan Limited. Government says it is lawful, but, and you have to check the continuation of this headline in the newspaper. Uh, ratings of the Black Stars in victory over Congo is also another story in the paper today. And 2017 Ghana Banking Survey on page 7. Uh, let's check out what the survey says. Page 7 in the dispatch. Oh, it's a continuation from... Uh, yesterday, so I guess if you are interested in the story, you've got to catch up from there. That's it for the Daily Dispatch newspaper. Roland will do the Daily Guide. Newspaper. I do the Daily Guide, and on the front page of the Daily Guide, we have EC Blows. I think this is the first story I'm seeing about EC since the close of last week. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Daily Guide, my best tabloid in Ghana. EC Blows 11 million Ghana cities on telcos, telecoms, over failed electronic transmission. <laughs> and then we have Kennedy no show at CID. Meanwhile, uh, police invite Jospon as Adomotri defends him. NDC snaps net $72 million scandal. And I'm expecting a story in the center spread. If I don't see it, I'll be surprised. <laughs> and this is a story. I haven't seen it though. This one is one of them. Funny face begs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not two minutes uh, mine. Begs who? The wife. Charlie, the wife, you get bored you. Not only the wife, but begging the public and his fans in Ghana. That do he's you sorry remember? for ranting. Do you remember that I, 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 I said, she put I think in, a, in a very subtle way mm -hmm. that the lady had said, she had not granted, spoken the, the kind of things that, 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 were, that had been attributed to her. <laughs> so his response to something that was she premature? didn't say was just out of place. It means that there was some <laughs> a year. Because the world can't. Who's the first response? And then I, I, I said, like conscience. Who's a conscience? And then I said, how? You know, the world responding, I'll say, oh boy. <laughs> nah. Meanwhile, she had not said anything. Uh -huh. Oh, you know, my God. Uh, my asked her uh. by her <laughs> side. Oh. My funny face, you're my good friend. Good morning to you. Who funny is face. chasing him? <laughs> he put himself in that, in that corner. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you're through? Yes, I'm through, my dear. Mm. Funny face. Oh, 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 oh. Uncle Ebo, why hit big with a comeback? Have you gone to watch it? I think I need to go and watch the it. The comeback. Uh, when is it showing this weekend? It's showing this weekend. It's showing this whoa, weekend. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need it's to go and de-stress. I'm under a lot of stress. The comeback, you must see the comeback. I heard a little bit about the comeback yesterday. You know, and I want you know to watch Lebo, it. I go to all his shows. Yeah. Even the one with the pack tickets, the packages. Because you don't pay. No, I pay. Eh. I've never gotten oh, freebies. Never. Really? Yeah, from Uncle Lebo. Oh, because, then that's because, nice. because I feel that that's his profession. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he employs a lot of people. They have yeah. to be paid. And you the know, thing you know is the usual thing we say, businesses grow and friends and family. I don't do free. I don't services. worry. Kukwesi, you do give me free tickets. I don't do that. Uh, Actually, I don't do that uh, for many But you know his name. 
Who can see you? Yeah. But you don't call him for free ticket. No, 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 no. Wow. The, the only thing is, I'll make sure he facilitates me because I'll always be late. Maybe just some few minutes. So you say, Charlie Roland, I reserve the seat for you. And okay. that one, I have okay. to say, he does yeah. call me all the time. I hear the comeback is a, is is big, man. The comeback wow, is, wow, is wow, big. Wow. It will hit you. I need to see you there. Yeah. Not that you will have the time. Let's forget that one. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying. I'm trying. But we'll talk about the comeback tomorrow yeah. on the show. Who knows? You might just get a ticket to go and uh, watch Uncle Just White's think about it. Just think comeback. about it. Yeah. Uh, if you're true with the Daily Guide, mm -hmm. let me continue with the Business Finder mm. newspaper of today. Uh, government Bank of Ghana under pressure to stem rising MPLs, and that's non-performing loans. So story says, challenges militating against Ghana's banking system continue to draw concerns from both uh, domestic and international financial institutions and experts. Uh, the latest is from uh, Britain Woods Institution, the International Monetary Fund. The executive board of the fund has asked the Bank of Ghana to urgently address rising levels of non-performing loans in the banking sector to forestall a deterioration of the country's financial sector. So details of that. Uh, CD to appreciate against dollar according to Fitch. That story is on page three. It says the local currency, the city, is expected to strengthen against the U.S. dollar for the rest of the year as economic growth outperformed as outperforms earlier estimates. Uh, BMI, the research outfit of ratings agency Fitch, has predicted. That will be good news uh, for us here in Ghana if the city stays really, really strong against the U.S. Mm. dollar. Mm. Details of all the stories <laughs> in business finder so we have the business and financial times and on the front page traders kick against excise stamp policy and um, policy I, I think I'm taking this in too far policy and um, expresso to start operations at Celtel we used to have Celtel yes it used to be called Celtel right the first time they started operation in December set to inject because three it's gone back to the original owner, owner. Right, I think that's great. 300 million US dollars expected to be injected in. Congratulations, Setel, and uh, welcome back into the fall. Did you say Intel? Setel. Setel. Yeah. But you see, the competition now, if they couldn't before, right now, the industry. No, I think before they were, they were somewhere, but now I don't know where they will be. Uh, the competition is even stiffer now. Shall I be serious? It's tough. But so I think when they come, we hope when they come fresh like that, they come with a lot of packages. So I'll go for. I want. We, I want we to hope that they survive. In, you know, the if industry. they don't survive, I pot. Shall mm. I serious? That's all. No problem. Okay, you're through. Uh, Coco Roads project under scrutiny is on page four of the paper mm -hmm. of the Business and Financial Times, and you just have to grab a copy of the Business and Financial Times. You get a lot more back page. Construction sector gets major boost as PPD forum is launched, and the PPD forum. Forum is the public private dialogue and talking about how private entities and private agencies, private firms could play critical roles in public infrastructure development, etc. And that's mm. what we call PPP, started in the UK, etc. It's still something big down there. So you have the, pu the private sector playing big roles in the public sector because the public sector, you give them something to do, they close at 12, right? Tomorrow. Oh. Well, no, that's not that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. Okay, I redraw my comments. Thank you. Uh, FBN Bank. You know that bank? F what? FBN. Yes. Okay. Hey, wait. Hang on. Right. F what? FBN yes. Bank, Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, has this MD as Benga Odeyemi. Mm -hmm. Um, they have a dot save and win, and they've done a promotional. Oh, okay. So uh, it's All on right. the back page of the paper. Uh, the let's do online. Terms. We'll start from home, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we'll do myjoyonline.com, where we've got all the stories, by the way. Uh, so on myjoyonline.com, MP demands resignation of a Greek minister over army worm invasion. And the member of parliament for Busa South, Clement Apak, is demanding the resignation of a Greek minister, Dr. Akoto Ubusu F year but we all know what the result will be right mm. oh. uh, let's move on oh. uh, how Ghana <laughs> can maintain sound financial system is also another story there uh, and ITLO set September 23 to rule on Ghana Cote d'Ivoire maritime disputes what you need to know about the latest Bitcoin boom, the unprecedented market highs being achieved by 
uh, cryptocurrencies is attracting new investors. You can read all about it on myjohnline.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, GFEC to extend mobile telephone services to 50 communities. Story said the Ghana Investment Fund for Electronic Communications has begun the extension of mobile telephony services to over 50 underserved communities in the Asing South District of the Central Region. Sharp. Mm, that'll be good news. Mm -hmm. Just one group fingered again in Assembly Rot. Story says. And yet another damning revelation, it has emerged the Just One group of companies took monies ostensibly to provide fumigation services for the Asante Akin Central Assembly, but failed to do so. This will be part of uh, the series being done by Manasseh Azore, Azore Awene. Awene. We'll talk about this on AM Talk. Sam Nate George is a member of parliament for Ningo from Prama. And Dr. Oko Boy is a member of parliament for Lejo uh constituency. Mm -hmm. And I guess they will be my guest on AM Talk. I have to take it away from you. All yeah. right, let's move on. Uh, Anglo Gold fumigation more visible than 98 million Ghana City Zoom Lion projects, according to former DCE, still related to uh, the earlier headline. Police on manhunt for two Chinese for importing unwholesome tilapia. And the Ghana Police Service has issued a bench warrant for the arrest of we two import Chinese tilapia? for reportedly importing unwholesome tilapia into the country. Uh, is it a situation of we can't produce enough to meet the demand. That's why we are probably looking mm, elsewhere. Because some of the are eating, be, it tastes like meat. Which could be highly possible. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And then it's, yeah. it's sticky. Mm, so. Yeah, it's true. Uh, okay, so let's just quickly run through. Uh, police invite uh, Just One Boss over latest Joy News expose. We're going all out on this on AM Talk in, the, uh, in a bit. Civil war imminent. Uh, according to Togo opposition, and they are warning opposition political parties in Togo are urging the governments of Ghana and those of other West African countries to intervene in ongoing political tension in the West African country. But you know why uh, a lot of people are in arms? We were told that it's spreading really because they want a fixed tenure of office for their presidency, more like what we have in Ghana. Uh, they're asking for two, uh, a fixed term of five years mm -hmm. with two maximum. Uh, for us in Ghana, wait, I mean, wait, wait, wait. we're absolutely... A fixed term of five years, so, and then one more term. Yeah, so you can so do two, two maximum for just an individual. Exactly, because if you've been following uh, the politics in Togo, you know that one family has reigned uh, for about 50 years yeah. now. Yeah. So it's like from it's father to son, mm. uh, and I'm sure from we'll father go. to son to grandson to... <laughs> Africa. I don't know. It's a country, man. It's not. It's not your family tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inheritance. So, so you know, but the, it, it's just that the situation keeps escalating mm. and mm. it's spreading. Cause it, it initially, when the reports started, it was just in Luma. Now we're told, uh, is it Sokode, which is also I think the biggest of Luma. Sokode, Sokode Bogame yeah. also. Okay, so it's kind of like spreading, uh, but a little bit I know about international relations. You know, everybody is watching. They are waiting for the thing to really escalate. Before. That's when you when we'll see. Have a lot of because right now, it's just a national issue. Mm. It's a national. They've not recorded too many casualties. Even the earlier one that they said seven people died, it was disputed, Abby. So, yeah, everybody is waiting. And you know, government watching. always disputes that to tame. Yeah. Because I'm told that, and I have uh, some friends in Togo, mm. uh, because uh, a cousin of mine uh, comes from there, says that, um, more of the armed soldiers of the Togolese gendarmerie yeah. were those that were killed, and the opposition wow. had one or two deaths. Wow. So it means that the opposition really have, de have planned this and they know what they want to do. Yeah. The thing is, do we need the intervention as quickly as possible? And I think the first port of call will be with ECOWAS, but more so with the Republic of Ghana. Have you heard ECOWAS? I, I don't think I've heard Making something. any statement, saying yeah. anything. But the Republic of Ghana also needs to do something. Because I think what immediately, mm. um, they would not go to Burkina Faso. They would not go to Benin. Ghana is easy to come yeah, to. Yeah, because Ghana, we have the infrastructure. I think what will be going on. They speak the language. What, 
Yeah. You know, that kind of it's, thing. And we have easy. to be realistic about mm. it. That we also have a lot, thousands of Ghanaians yeah. in the Republic yeah. of Togo. It's true. They are Togolese, but they are also Ghanaians. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But what will be going on, I can imagine, is the various uh, diplomatic missions issuing alerts to their citizens in Togo, mm. asking them to go to certain places and not go to certain places and be careful and that kind of thing. Uh, so there will be more on this uh, conversation as well on AM Talk, uh, you know, after sports. So that's it for my joyonline.com. As you can see, we've got lots more stories and videos that you can check out. Okay, uh, so later. let's quickly do Togo on the Africa page of the BBC <laughs> Mamavi. Yeah. And this is what we've been talking about. Bore must go. That's mm. the hashtag. <laughs> for Nyasingbe, who succeeded his father in 2005. Can we click that story and see whether uh, we can read something? Must there are other headlines. Uh, in the meantime, Angola's next president announced Buhari cancels, Buhari cancels cabinet meeting. Uh, no home fun. No home no uh, Kenyan pupil detained over school fire. Uh, Lesotho army chief killing condemned. And um, S.A.'s Anderson reaches U.S. Open, uh, open semis. And my man was knocked out, uh, but that's fine. But the point is that, you know this guy, uh, Kevin, I think Kevin is his first name, Kevin Anderson. He's South African, even though he's not based in South Africa. He, he plays he for South Africa. No, originally I mean, he's, 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 originally a, he's a South African. He's a South African. No, not even originally. He Ogoni. is. He is White. South African. Yes, but he's South African. You know, when his name comes, they bring the South African flag and they and say South them. Africa. But he's made history because he's the first South African in recent times to have made it to <laughs> semi-finals. In, uh, in 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 a US big open, open a not even in just a grand in there in the grand slam. So since I think 1969 or so or something like that or 61 something like that. Mom so Mom it's P, a big you deal. You know your tennis. <laughs> you love yeah. tennis. But my guy is out. My yeah, guy Roger Federer, Federer was knocked by out. Juan Martin Del, Del Potro. Po exactly. Yeah. yeah, but and uh, Martin Del Potro though has been a four-time U.S. Open champion. But but. I, I don't know. We I think we're just rooting for Anderson now, who's through to the semis. But <laughs> Benedict will be here <laughs> to Look give us African a lot more. Bias. A lot more <laughs> <laughs> of course, I should be. Yeah. A lot more details uh, <laughs> of that. And of course, I'm sure he will talk about Russia. Mm -hmm. is, is Russia, what, 2018? Are we going? I don't know. Ask yeah. Benedict. Yeah, it's Russia too. That'll be it for the review. Uh, you have to go to the newsstands. I know he's sad. And grab the papers. Once Ghana is not going, it's not going. <laughs> go to the newsstands, grab the papers, and read a lot more of the stories. And hit on myjoyonline.com. Mm. We've got lots of stories there for you as well. <laughs>